we never sit down and eat together, you know. Um, the three boys, uh, Liam, Jordan and Luke, they're out playing football at different times. During the week, they're coming in from school and it's, everything's rushed. So when was the last time you actually sat down together as a family? Um, all together, literally. Yeah, actually. all around the table. Three boys uh, and yourselves. I can't remember. It's as long ago as that. So where would you eat? We have, like, a little bistro mm. table now. Family of five, table could only fit two. Yeah, mm. yeah. Every night we're out. Um, and I work shifts, so there's times I'm on nights. The only way around this, to eat around the table, is to come up with something like a stew or a casserole. Right. Uh, yeah. Prepare it on a Saturday <clears throat> to reheat for a Sunday. First off, we've got to get a table. <laughs> We're happy with this one. Yeah. Yes. Yes? It's quite nice, I think it go well in the kitchen. Now, that's just a really nice chunk of braising steak. Can I just say, though, if I was buying this... Yes. Um, ..I would be put off if there was a bit of fat like that. If there's no fat on there, it'll go dry. So you've got to look for the fat. OK. Whilst Mum's doing that, I want you to do the vegetables, OK? Yeah. First of all... Shallots. Take off this. That's the root. Yeah. But we don't take the whole thing off because if you cut the whole root off, all the juice will come out of it and then you'll start crying. Now, what the flour does, all right. it coats the meat mm -hmm. and so when the casserole's cooking, it gives it a little bit of body. And the nice thing about this casserole, we know that, is the fact that you don't have to be precious with it. I've noticed that. I thought uh, you were a bit rough. <laughs> yeah, well, nothing with a bit of rough, trust me. And you just take your braising steak, don't be scared of this, because you're putting colour on it, and colour means flavour. Yeah, I'm going to put in some really nice smoked bacon. Have a smell of that? Mmm. Do you like bacon? No. <laughs> you don't like bacon? No. Oh, Luke, I thought you were a chef, my man. What we're going to do now is cook that bacon, and then we're going to put the vegetables on top of it. Then add the thyme, bay leaves, tomato puree, the brown meat, and finally, the stock. Okay. Looks amazing, doesn't it? Yep. If you think that's tasty now, just imagine what it's going to be like in two and a half hours' time. So just after 15 minutes preparation, tomorrow's lunch is sorted. Victory is in good! So this is, this is it every Sunday. This is, this is exactly what it's like every Sunday. We've got our wee dinner oh. prepared, though, have a nice uh, Well, that's the most important thing. We're here now having a great time, oh, supporting yeah. Luke. <laughs> and the nice thing about it is that everything's done at home. Mm -hmm. Pick him up, Luke! Get him good! Lift them, Luke! Go on, Go on, son! Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Yes! Great goal. That's a great goal. Woo. Right, guys, you ready? Yeah. Let's go. We're two minutes away from getting everybody around the table for the first time in a long time. Chin, chin, chin. Cheers. It's not that difficult, is it, really? No, it's huh? not. I'm really confident I'll be able to do it myself. OK. All of you, around the table, uh -huh. I want you to make me a promise that you will continue to do this. Every Sunday. Yep, that's a promise. Where's the two-seater? The two-seater's gone. For good. Rag and bone man's taking it away, yeah. Rag and yeah, bone man. Gone. Fantastic. <laughs>